people that these curses can identify with. Slave shit. All right? Being on this side here. Your people being on this side and coming in, in, in the Spaniards coming to slaughter them. All this is in the Bible. All right? Who we were, great people, during the time of King Saul, during the time of King David, during the time of King Solomon. Those are our forefathers. All right? We have foremothers as well that we need to be uh, led by. Our sisters need to be uh, uh, following their example. We have foremothers that the sisters need to be following their example. All right? But the men of God are ruled. What you got? All right, who got a question? I really have a question. He, 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 he read the Bible. He said Christ came for everybody. Christ did not come. Give me the book of Matthew chapter 15. I'm gonna trust, I'm gonna trust. We're, not, not, we're not gonna start at 24 though. We're gonna start up with that woman. Then call the dog. Matthew chapter 15, verse 21. All right, here we go. Read. Matthew 15, verse 21. Read. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan. A woman of who? A woman of Canaan. This is a woman of Canaan. Canaan, all right? An African woman, all right? And Not an Israelite woman, all right? Read. Came out of the same coast and cried unto him. She came to Christ, crying to Christ, all right? Read. Saying, have mercy on me. This is what she said to Christ. Have mercy on me. She's a Canaanite, all right? She's a Hamite. She's telling Christ, which is an Israelite, to have mercy on her. Read. O oh Lord, thou son of David, my daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. She's telling Christ that her daughter is vexed with a devil. The daughter got the devil on her. Read. But he answered her not a word. He didn't answer her a word. Christ ignored her. That's Read. right. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away. His disciples came to him and said, Send her away. Why would his disciples say, Send her away, if Christ came for everybody? Right. Read. For she cried after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. No, I'm sent for everybody. Read it again. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He's not sent, but into the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's what. You hear that? Read. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread. It's not. It's not. Provision? It's not a mean to take the children's bread, my people's bread, free. And to cast it to the dog. What did he call this heathen? And to cast it. What did he call this dead heathen? Two dogs. So he called a heathen a dog. What? Christ is only here for the black, Hispanic, and Native American. The Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. Oh, we clear of that now. Christ has not come for everybody. What? He sees the other nations as dog. Give me the book of Second Ezra. Second Ezra. We're gonna go farther into that. Isaiah, actually, Isaiah 13 and, and what's this? Spittle. The 40, 40 and 13. Isaiah 40 and 13, because she got the Bible. Isaiah 40 and 13. He's gonna go. He's gonna tell. He tells the other nations are like dogs. They're, they're not the same. He's not come for everybody. Yeah, he's telling now that he, he good. before us for everybody. We're good. We're going to go far a little bit farther. Give me that. Isaiah chapter 40. Wait, you there, sis? Isaiah 40 and 30. Help her get there all right, real quick. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 30. Yeah. I mean, I got it. Got it. All right, all praise. Read. Isaiah 40, 13. 40 and 13. Huh? 40, 40 and 15. 40 and 15. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 15. All right, we're going to go a little farther with Christ thinking about these other nations. All right, read. Isaiah 40, verse 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. When you drop some out of a bucket, do you care about that? When you drop them, when you carry the bucket of water, and a little drop fall out, do you care about that? No, read. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the owls as a very little thing. See that? They're counted as what? Keep reading. 
Verse 17. Boom. Everything going to to the point now in verse 17. Isaiah 40, verse 17. All nations before him are as nothing. Are as what? Are as nothing. You hear that? Are as nothing. Go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Finish it, finish it. And they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. You hear that? They are less than nothing. He ain't coming back for them. Why he going to come back for them? And he slaughtered, they slaughtered his people. Look, only he coming back, all right, with judgment and a sword. That's like I do, brother. What's his name? Come on over here. <laughs> hey, I was just looking at him like, I'm paying attention to you, bro. We went out there, you can identify with. Right. All right, all right, all right. You can from the tribe of Judah. It's like That's the tribe of man. Judah. All right, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter Here's what 7. what else he said about his people. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Read. No. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to he, be. He chose you, not every other nation. Read. To be a special people unto himself. Above all people. No, equal to all people. Above all people. Above all people, read. That are upon the face of the earth. Uh, upon the face of the earth. Judgment coming to these people. Why? Revelation 13 and 10. Get to the point. Start at 10. Because what did these racial people do to our people? They slaughtered our people, killed our people. Read. Revelation chapter 13, verse 10. Bring it up. He that leadeth into captivity. Hey, make sure they hear this part. Uh, brother one. Make sure they hear this part. Revelation 13. Revelation 13 and 10. Here, here's what's gonna happen to the other nations. We got some of these other nations that y'all think equal. Chapter 13 and verse 10. This is what's gonna happen to these other nations. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity. Who led the blacks and Spanish and Native Americans into captivity? So called white man, read. Shall go into captivity. Yes, they're going into captivity. He read. He that killeth with the sword. Who killed us with the sword? By the million. Read. Must be killed with the sword. Read. There is the patience and the faith of the saints. That's the patience and the faith of the saints. All right? That's something y'all need to know. That's what we've got to come back and start keeping the commandments. Go to Isaiah 14 and verse 1. Isaiah 14 and 1. Because how's the world going to end this time? How did the world end the first time? With water? The flood? Water. How's it supposed to end this time? Fire. Fire. That's what I'm right. I was going to say wind. No, <laughs> we can end the world. I was going to say wind. Wind, I was going to say, wind. but yeah, fire. Fire. Sister, you on point. Uh, what kind of, uh, huh? Isaiah 14 and 1. Uh, what, what, what could cause the fire to do that? What could cause the fire to do that? Yeah, what could make that fire uh, destroy the world? What type of weapon? Huh? Yeah. What would you say? Missile. What kind of missile? Nuclear. That's nuclear. nuclear. That's why the nations are creating the nuclear destruction so that the Lord word will be fulfilled. Okay. This word will be fulfilled. That's why I say on Romans 3 and 3, what if some didn't believe, it don't matter. Those nuclear bombs, the nation have the nuclear bombs. They have them. And it's a matter of time before what? They're let loose. Now, does that mean nobody else gonna be on the planet? No, that means the kingdom, the kingdom, the current kingdoms are, that are now are gonna be obliterated. And guess who, what kingdom is next? Who knows what kingdom is next? The kingdom of God. Who is the kingdom of God? Blacks, Hispanic, the Israelites, the Native Americans. That's right. We're gonna be ruling next. Isaiah 14 and one, we're about to prove it.
16 and 1. Bring it on! Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. Bring it on! So make sure they know that. Make sure these bank brothers y'all know that. Isaiah 14 and 1. Read that. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Jacob. Jacob is our forefather. All right, the promises went to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. These are the seeds. Yet choose Israel. He's still going to choose the Israelites. Israel, read. And set them in their own land. We're going back home in our own land. Read. And the strangers shall be joined with them. Who are the strangers? The heathens. The other nations. They're coming with us, yes. They're going to go to heaven with us. But guess what? Read. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They're going to cleave to us. And what? And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. Now we the people are going to take them and bring them to their place. What? And the house of Israel shall possess them. We're going to possess them now for what? In the land of the Lord for servants. For what? For servants. For what? For servants. They're going to be now the servants and what? And handmaids. And handmaids. And what else? And they shall take them captives. Now we're going to take their ass captives. Read. Whose captives they were. Whose captives we were. Why? Because he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. That's Is there more? Read. And they shall rule over their oppressors. Who are our oppressors today? You're damn right. It ain't hard to know. We oppress each other too, though. <laughs> but they, <laughs> but they, but they, that's why, why are we teaching this so we can come up out of that? We can stop killing each other. Hey, we can stop killing each other, but we can go ahead and get these promises that are, that the Lord promised to us. That's In right. order for this to happen, we got to start back keeping the commandment. So y'all know that. All right? Go to Deuteronomy uh, 10 and 12. All right? All this going to happen after the nuclear destruction. This is all prophesied. It was prophesied that a whole nation of people that will go into captivity. It's prophesied that Babylon will fall. And it's prophesied that these people are going to raise back up on their feet. Go to Revelation. They're dead bodies. Revelation. Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8. Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street. Keep reading. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. What's the great city? America. America is the great city. Their dead bodies meaning these people, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. How are our dead bodies walking in the street of the Americas? We don't know who we are. You ask the brother what's his nationality, he'll say he mixed, he'll say five different things. I'm just saying just whatever, bro. I'm black old black crime. Like that. Like <laughs> uh, we're, we're basically we the walking dead. You ever seen the yeah, movie? Yeah. We're walking walking, dead. We are the walking dead, the black Hispanics and Native American. We don't want to listen to nothing. We hate ourselves. White men kill us. Other nations kill us. Our women wear blood and hair in their head. They get their face redone. They Jeez. bleach their skin. The men show their butt pregnant. And you can go on and on. Read. Our dead bodies what? Shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. This city is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. What happened in, in Sodom and Gomorrah, sister, back in the day when Lot was saved? Fire came and brimstone and burnt. So this is if this is spiritually Sodom and Egypt, why is this spiritually Sodom? Because homosexuality is running rapid here. Okay, they allow that. They allow marriage. They're basically against the law. Read this is spiritually Sodom and Egypt, and it's Egypt because the Israelites were in captivity in Egypt. And guess where we're at now? Here again is spiritual Egypt. Guess what they're doing in spiritual Egypt? Read. Where also our Lord was crucified. How did they crucify our Lord here spiritually? We're speaking on a spiritual level now. They took black Jesus, which is in the Bible, and painted him white. Right. They said, now the Jews are white. They said, now the Sabbath day is Sunday. They said, now you can be gay and you can go to church. They crucified, you spiritually crucified the Lord. That is not of the Lord. That's the crucifixion of the Lord that's in our in America. Read. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies. They see our dead bodies. All the other nations see our dead bodies just walking around here and they what? Three days and a half. 350 years of this captivity. We're, we're passing that now. That's why we're waking up. Read, keep reading. And shall not suffer their damn bodies to be put in graves. They ain't even suffer us to be to live, to be put in graves and say, look, y'all Israelites, y'all shouldn't be ha shouldn't be acting like this. They didn't even suffer us to rest peacefully. Read, is that it? Read. And they that dwell upon the earth 
shall rejoice over them. And they make, rejoiced over us and gave presents to each other of our captivity. Read. And make merry and shall send gifts one to another. That's what they did to us during the time we was in slavery. They still do that to this day. We work in their, in their companies. We make them millions, they pay us pennies. They send gifts to each other from our slavery, from our work, not just the works of the blacks, but the works of the Hispanics and Native Americans. But get, but, let, but go to Ezekiel. Raise up. What you got? After three days in the hand. All right, keep going. But here's the good thing. Here's the good thing to that. Now y'all know who we are. We got, we got some good stuff to that. Read that. Verse 11. And after three days and a half. Okay, after those 350 years. Read. The spirit of life from God entered into them. That's what we're preaching. We're preaching who you are according to the Bible. The spirit of God. The spirit of life is now entering into you. Read. Read. And they stood upon their feet. And great fear fell upon them which saw them. Now you're standing upon your feet. All right? We're coming back to keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Right. Now our sister, sisters are honorable sisters, dressed in modest. Our men are, are, are men of valor, war men, men That's of right. war who go out in these streets and preach the truth, raise up their people from the dead. All right? Ezekiel chapter 37 and verse 10. So I prophesied as he commanded me. That's and what we're doing as the Israelites. We're prophesying as the Lord commanded us to do. Read. And the breath came into them. What's the breath? The life. The life. These books, these commandments. The life is into you. Now you know you're an Israelite. Ezekiel chapter 35, right? 37 and 10. The, the breath of life is these, these words of God. Because now you got the culture, you got your heritage back. Right now you're walking around here as a black American, a nigger, a spick, a Spanish. That's the name that your colonizers gave you. So what comes with that? Black on black crime, hand sagging, abortion rates. I mean, they gave you that, so now you're walking in that culture. But you're coming back to your culture, your well, true right. culture. Read it. Ezekiel 37 verse 10. So Read. I, so I prophesied. We as prophesied as the Lord commanded us. Verse 10, read. As he commanded me, and the breath came into them. And the they, breath, the laws, the laws, statutes, and commandments, your heritage, your culture coming into you now. Read. And they lived. And now you're living. You're raised up from that dead now. You're not walking in that dead state. Now you're walking up with upright men, upright women. Read. And stood upon their feet an exceeding great army. Now we're standing on our feet an exceeding great army. Read. Verse 11. Then he said, Yes, Exceeding great army. That's what we're doing. So it's time for y'all to wake up. Get in the book of Deuteronomy 10 and 12. How you doing, sis? Look on that sign. What's my own name you can identify with? Because now y'all know. You know you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. You know you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Now Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Deuteronomy. Here's the hard part, but it ain't really hard. It's easy. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Bring it up. And now Israel. Now Israel. Now Judah. Now Judah. Read. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? What does the Lord require of you now? Because we're in the position that we're in because we broke his commandments. Sister, what does the Lord require of you? Read. There you go. To love you, to serve the Lord your God, and follow your heart, and follow your soul, and to observe the Lord's commands and decrees that I am giving you today for your own good. Why is it for your own good? Because he put a whole nation of people into captivity. He got you walking around here looking like a base people. Like nothing. You walking around here looking like a spitter, killing each other like idiots. That's why. Read it. Let's read it. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him and to serve the Lord thy God. How you love the Lord? Hold that to your first John. This is how you love the Lord. First John chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. It's not hard to keep the Lord's commandments. Alright? So that's how we gotta do, we gotta come back. So brothers, y'all expect you to come join us. Alright? Because give me the book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. There's a question that the Lord has asked. The book of Psalms, 94 and 16. Read. Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. 
Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Who's going to rise up? That's what the Lord's asking. We got to rise. Who's going to rise up against the evildoers and the workers of iniquity? Read. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? All right. That's what you got to do. You got to talk to us. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.